Alright guys, it's time to make a XT60 parallel connector that looks just like this. It's easy to do, it's great because it doesn't have any extra wires or any extra length and you can um, extend your run times in your uh, RC aircraft. Okay, okay guys, to need, when you're going to be building this connector, what you're going to need is two uh, of the male connectors. I call these male because it has the prong in the inside. <laughs> And uh, this is going to be the female side right here, which is uh, looks like this. Okay guys, so we're going to get ourselves into a situation where we're going to be soldering all these guys together here. Now, uh, the way that, that these XT60s come is like this. Uh, they, the cups are, are round towards the inside. And what you want to do is turn those cups around to where they look like this. This, uh, where the cups are, uh, the hump is going towards the outside. So what you're going to do, Take your cup, just grab it with the pliers and turn it around like that. So that the hump is facing towards the outside. Just like that. Okay, so what we end up with is two male plugs with the humps on the outside. We're gonna hold these together. Excuse the noise in the background, guys. Make sure that your polarities are correct. And so it's gonna look basically like this. So what we're gonna do is uh, put some solder in here. We're gonna tack it together and then we'll flip it back over. So like this, and I just put a rubber band around the handle here so it'll um, have a little springy grip to it. I basically squish it together like so. And uh, I get this into a second helping hand here. And I'm just going to put this together. And we will have some heat shrink for later on. All right. You're going to notice that this, this lobe right here is going to rest on the top a little bit, so when you do the underside, it's going to be a little bit different looking. So, okay, get your solder tip, get it nice and clean here, and hopefully you guys can see this okay. It's, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to get this to tack together, just about like that, and usually I burn the sides just a little bit, and that's okay. That's just plastic. You don't want to heat for too long because you can actually start the center, you can actually uh, make the center of the pin start to shift and then the plug won't plug in correctly. Okay, so now I've got that tacked together, I'm just going to flip this over and we don't need the third hand anymore. I'm going to put some um, put some solder right in there. See if I can't focus this one more time. Okay. Alright. Let's clean the tip real quick. There we go. Hey, it's still in shot. Okay, okay. So that's uh, soldered together right now. I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna add some solder to this side now. There we go. That's beautiful. Nice. Let's do the other side. When you guys start doing your own soldering, I tell you, when you get a nice solder joint, it's just something that, to appreciate. Um, um, a lot of people will ask me, you know, what soldering iron do I use? This is actually the soldering station from Radio Shack, and I know they just went out of business, but um, if you guys have, can possibly get one from there, it has been the greatest soldering iron I've ever used. I also just started using this as something to clean off your tip with, so that you don't have to use water and a sponge. I never liked that very much anyway. Okay, so, uh, of course, you guys have to make sure that you guys have all your polarities correct. So, let me go ahead and... Um, I uh, get this. Uh, this might be a little bit too big of a um, of, uh, heat shrink here. Let me just unfocus this here. Bring it out a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's see if this works here. Okay, guys. You, you get the idea here. So here is your parallel connector that allows you to two batteries into one. So basically your model is on this side and your two batteries are going into this side. So it just it just increases the size of your gas tank. It doesn't increase the voltages or amperages or anything like that. Alright so guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I uh, will talk to you guys later. This is 7Demo7. I'll see you later.